Going on a cruise? Here are five ways to help you plan your next adventure. And we're the Cruising Canadians. And welcome back to our series of how to plan your cruise and cruise tips and blogs and more. Sounds good to me. I know. We were going to name it Cappuccinos and Cruise Chat, but again, we don't have a cappuccino. We don't have any cappuccinos. We need to buy a, ca a cappuccino machine or something. Or go to uh, Toto, ca yeah, Toto Cafe and grab one. For a live feed. <laughs> Here are five ways that you can kind of uh, plan your next cruise, especially if you're struggling to book one. So number one. Number one would be, what is your favorite place to go on the cruise? Are you Alaska? Caribbean, European, or, Australia. Or do you fight like Joe and I? <laughs> we don't he's, fight. No, he's a Caribbean boy and I am a, I like the Caribbean, but I want to see the world now. And I'm happy in the Caribbean. Anywhere it's sunny and hot. Joe likes. I likes. I don't like to be cold. I don't want to freeze. No. But so it's important to know like exactly where you want to go and what destinations you are looking at because as you know cruise prices have gone up and so trying to find an affordable cruise is I think a big deal now. You always have to look for those sales and they always come but mm -hmm. a lot of times just be careful they'll, they'll say it's a sale but they just change the name and three days later it's the same sale just a different name. Just a different name. Yeah. So looking at your cruise itinerary is going to be a huge factor of how many nights do you want to go? Do you want to go somewhere warm or do you want to go somewhere cold or exotic? So those are things that you're definitely going to want to take a look at. I think for us as being Canadians, we want to go somewhere warm in the winter. Exactly. And three or five days, uh, most of the time doesn't cut it for us. No. Once, once you start going for five days, then you want seven. Seven, you want eight. Eight, you want ten. Ten, you want twelve. Twelve, you want fourteen. And on and on. And on and on. on. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's the truth. It's, you can never have enough cruising. No, that's for, sure. that's for sure. Because we've been on a 15-night cruise, and now I'm looking at a world, the world cruise. <laughs> she wants to go from 15 to 60. <laughs> to 100 or 247 days. <laughs> Why don't you just go on the uh, Serenade of the Sea, 242 know, that, days. That's what I'm saying. That's our next, that's our next, uh, that's when, on my bucket list. When we retire. Yeah. Okay. And sell the house. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So anyway, next comes into the budget. How much do you want to spend for your cruise? Again, do you, you can find some budget friendly cruises, depending on the cruise line that you're looking at, the time of year that you want to go on, and whether or not you want an inside cabin, a balcony, a porthole, oh, yeah, or do exactly. you want to go luxurious and do a suite? Balcony. It's the most... Suite. <laughs> <laughs> We've never stayed in a suite, but anyway, she would love I to would stay love in a... I would love to stay in a suite, at least once. At Staying least once. a suite, you could go on three other cruises. Yeah, I know. I know. One of the things that we look at when we are planning a cruise is where is the port located? Um, obviously in the Caribbean destinations, you have Tampa, you have Fort Lauderdale, you have Miami, you have Port Canaveral. So for as us, well as Puerto Rico, well, mainly mm -hmm. though, like I'm talking about the USA. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like for us being Canadian, we te we typically travel to either Fort Lauderdale, Miami, Port Canaveral, Port Canaveral, which we recently did on our Disney cruise. Some even like Galveston, Texas. Galveston mm. is another one that's coming yeah. out. Or New Orleans. Yes, New Orleans. And and there's a very there's a lot of different ports in the United States, obviously. But one of the things that we look at is we want a direct flight from Detroit to where we're going. So port accessibility for us is a huge thing. When we did the um, Orlando to Port Canaveral one, that we didn't real we didn't remember that it was an hour and a half. Uh, bus ride. It was a from, long yeah, bus from ride. From the Orlando airport yeah. to there. So either you have to get the transfer as yes, we did. Yes, we did. With Disney, which was very easy. Yeah. Or if you're renting a car or whatnot. Exactly. And whereas Fort Lauderdale and Miami, the cruise ports are very close to the airport and, and things like that. So we find the accessibility of the port very easy. Mm -hmm. On our Mediterranean cruise, when we did our transatlantic 
uh, we stayed in Rome for a couple of days, but the port was over an hour oh, yeah. away. And yes, there are ways to get there, but if, when you're lugging suitcases, the train was would have been hard for us to navigate. Uh, well, being that's that more it was because, our first yeah, time. first time there. Yeah. A lot of people do take the train. They, they find do. it very easy. Very and, cheap, too. Yeah. Yeah. So port, looking at where your ports are located in relation to the airport can be a big factor for some people. You got to figure the cost of an Uber or transportation, um, hotel. Does a hotel provide transportation to the port? Sometimes they do. They used to do that a long time ago, but now uh, you They do, but they charge pay. like $10, yeah. Dollars, yeah. Which, Which we is, find yeah. that like we're, we we have no problem with that. Um, the other thing too is um, perks. Yes, that's very important. That's a big one. You want to either go all in and have everything like your drinks included, your tips included, your Wi-Fi uh, included, or else you could just go basic cruise fare and then price out whatever you want. It depends. Yeah. Like yeah. if you're a drinker and you like to have your, I mean, not just alcohol. But if you like to have like um, your soda or sparkling water or like even cappuccinos and lattes and things like that, your specialty coffees, obviously there's different prices for, you know, what you want, mm -hmm. but you know, sometimes it's just nice to be able to get on a ship and just, yeah, not, not really worry about yeah, it. Yeah. That's kind of what we yeah, like. Yeah. You don't really have to look at the account daily to see, cause sometimes you will get overcharged, mm -hmm. double charged. Uh, and whatnot, you always have to go through your whole bill because they're so busy that they might yeah. easily make a mistake. And I understand. So, and then it's the the pain of going to guest services to get it fixed. Joe is well known at guest services. <laughs> That's why I like going with the all in. <laughs> I like to go and say hi to my friends at guest services. Not complaining, but Joe usually has a question. <laughs> Everybody has a question. I'm just one that goes and asks. Yeah. So, um, it, and we usually have, like, we usually work with a travel agent as well, too. And yeah. who, you know, she really tries to find us the, the best deal or we go on the Expedia sales. And this is not sponsored by Expedia by any way, but we work with um, our travel agent who works with Expedia, Expedia. And we find, like, we wait for the princess sale. Yeah, if and, you want a princess or celebrity. Yeah. Celebrity, we have just found lately that their prices are so expensive. Their specialty dining has gotten ex very expensive. And their drink package in the Classic used to have everything in there. Like I could have a glass of wine that I liked or a cocktail or, you know, a beer or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's very basic. It, it's like Bud Light. There's nothing. There's nothing more yeah. than Bud Light, Coors Light. If you want something a little more or even drinks like... Before you were able to get Tito's or a different kind of vodka. Now it's just absolute or yeah, sure enough. it's like low show. Yeah, 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 so, yeah exactly. <laughs> no, that's what I mean. Or like, well, yeah, I mean, and for some people that is important. They right. like a certain kind of vodka or, you know, like a certain type of drink or a wine. Uh, right. Really a wine. I, I, you know, we had a lot of selection of wine when yeah, we went you know, like, a couple years. Two years ago we had a lot and now they've changed it. And it's not that, you know, I don't think we're complaining like that, but it's just... Oh, no, it just depends on what yeah, you like. Yeah, it depends on what you like. And I just don't I just don't find, you know, upgrading to the premium drink package worth it for us. No, because so, I, I prefer a can of Coke or a, a beer that I can mm -hmm. easily drink. Yeah, and if or, we want a cocktail that's more money, we can just pay the difference, right. too. So... You know, but there's a lot of things that go into planning. Like, are you going during and the time, um, the time of the year, especially like if it is like a holiday season for us in Canada, we call it March break. And so that's when all everybody, everybody in our town is gone. <laughs> They're gone away. Pretty much. <laughs> and the airlines and, and it's not just here in Canada, in the U.S. Spring well, yeah, break. February is spring break. Right, February, there. March. Yeah. The prices are through the roof. Doesn't matter if you book it two years in advance; they know when it is. And you, if you really want to go during that time or during Christmas time, yeah. or anything to do around a holiday, a holiday, you're gonna Thanksgiving. Pay. Um, but if you go in between or after the holidays, usually the first week after the prices are pretty, yeah, pretty reasonable. And we found that traveling like that first two weeks of December, we got the holiday feel of the ship. 
they were decorating it, they played Christmas music. So you actually kind of got the the feel of a holiday cruise, they even had the turkey dinner. Yeah, you get it all. So And then yeah. uh yeah, then you come back home and it's Christmas time. And you eat again. <laughs> you, you eat more. It's, it's another holiday after the holiday. Either that or right after January, like the holiday, like uh, New Year's. Yeah, right after New Year's. That, maybe the second, the third, around that time. You may be able to find some deals. And I'm not sure if we should tell everybody those. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, we're just okay. kidding. No, but it, again, you've got to look at who you're traveling with too. Are you traveling with parents? Are you traveling with kids? A big group? Um is there a sale going on? What itinerary? I think I, I think the itinerary is crucial. It's it, it's a huge factor for us because there are certain islands we don't want to go. Not that we don't want to go see them anymore, but we just found that our favorite islands were like Barbados, like the Southern, yeah, Southern Caribbean, Caribbean, like San Juan. St. We don't Martin. mind the Eastern one too, St. Martin. Yeah, we well we like the. But I've been to St. Kitts so many times that... St. Thomas so many times. Yeah, that it's But that's just... still, I mean, again, you're away, so it's, I guess... Yeah, I guess I shouldn't complain. I shouldn't complain. I really shouldn't. Sure beats minus 10. That's true. <laughs> anywhere where there's sun and Caribbean beats, beats like minus 10 in snow any day. Any yep. day. So those are our tips. Uh, I know we kind of... Uh, we just wanted to kind of jump on here and just say, hey, this is kind of what we look at when we're planning um, an itinerary. And maybe you find these helpful, maybe you don't. And if you like what you see... Yeah, like and subscribe. And if you yeah. have other suggestions for us, post it in our comments. We'd love to read them. Yeah, and we have some upcoming cruises planned. Uh, we are doing a three, four-day Royal Caribbean. Nice. So we've never been on Royal Caribbean yet. So this will be our first cruise. And uh, we're doing a Panama cruise right after that on Celebrity. And so, so be interesting. yeah, it'll be interesting because we've never been to Panama. So we've ticked off a couple more islands. And then in September of next year, the Canadian, um, we're doing the um, Eastern. Eastern Canadian mm -hmm. and U.S. So the cruising Canadians are going to go on a Canadian cruise. Woohoo! <laughs> He's never been on the east side. And as Canadians, maybe you guys can relate as fellow Canadians out there, we tend not to travel a lot in our own country because it's so vast and it's expensive <laughs> to expensive, travel. Yeah. So we find it easier just to go down south and, and see the U.S. Exactly. Yeah. So, That'd but anyway, yeah. Well, thank you. We hope you enjoyed our video. And please, again, like and subscribe. Yeah. And we'll see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao. For now. Two, one. Five ways up. I'm playing. one. Going on a cruise? Here's five ways we plan on going on a cruise. That's not sounding right. No. no. I just said going on a cruise. Yeah. Why don't I say going on a cruise? Then you say going okay. on a cruise. Take Three. two. <laughs> Take two. Three, two, one. Going on a cruise? You're yelling. Am I? Yeah. So, take three. Going on a cruise? Here are five ways to help you plan your next adventure. We're cruising Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> One. Okay, let's do that again.